Hello, everyone. This is Professor Hu again. Welcome back. The topic of this task is about the temperature of a system. Although we are familiar with temperature as a measure of hotness or coldness, it is not easy to give an exact definition for it based on our physiological sensations we express the level of temperature quantitatively with words like frozen cold cold warm hot and red hot however we cannot assign numerical values to temperatures based on our sensations alone. Furthermore, our senses may be misleading. A mental chair, for example, will feel much colder than a wooden one, even when both are at the same temperature. Fortunately, Several properties of materials change with temperature in a repeatable and predictable way, and this forms the basis for accurate temperature measurement. The commonly used mercury class thermometer, for example, is based on the expansion of mercury with temperature. Temperature is also measured by using several other temperature-dependent properties. It is a common experience that a cup of hot tea left on the table eventually cools off and a cold drink eventually warms up. That is, when a body is brought into contact with another body that is at a different temperature, heat is transferred from the body at higher temperature to the one at lower temperature until both bodies attain the same temperature. At that point, the heat transfer stops, and the two bodies are said to have reached thermal equilibrium. The equality of temperature is the only requirement for thermal equilibrium. The zero's law of thermodynamics states that if two bodies are in thermal equilibrium with the third body. They are also in thermal equilibrium with each other. It may seem silly that such an obvious fact is called one of the basic laws of thermodynamics. However, it cannot be concluded from the other laws of thermodynamics, and it serves as the basis for the validity of temperature measurement. By replacing the third body with a thermometer, the zeroth law can be restated as two bodies are in thermal equilibrium if both have the same temperature reading even if they are not in contact. The zeroth law was first formulated and enabled by R. H. Fowler in 1931. As the name suggests, its value and the fundamental physical principle was recognized more than half a century ago, the formulation of the first 
and the second north of thermodynamics. It was named the zero snore since it should have preceded the first and the second north of thermodynamics. Temperature scales enable us to use a common basis for temperature measurements, and several have been introduced throughout history. All temperature scales are based on some easily reproducible states such as the frozen and boiling points of water, which are also called the ice point and the steam point, respectively. A mixture of ice and water that is in equilibrium with air, saturated with vapor and 180 a.m. pressure is called to be at the S point. A mixture of liquid water and water vapor in equilibrium at 180 a.m. pressure is said to be at the steam point. The temperature scales used in the SI and in the English system today are the Celsius scale and the Fahrenheit scale, respectively. On the Celsius scale, the ice and steam points were originally assigned the values of 0 and 100 degree centigrade, respectively. The corresponding value on the Fahrenheit scale are 32 and 211 degree Fahrenheit. There are often referred to as two-point scales since temperature values are assigned at two different points. The topic of this subtask is about the temperature scales. In thermodynamics, it is very desirable to have a temperature scale that is independent of the properties of any substance or substances. Such a temperature scale is called a thermodynamic temperature scale, which is developed later in conjunction with the second law of thermodynamics. The thermodynamic temperature scale in the SI is the Kelvin scale, named after Lord Kelvin. The temperature unit on this scale is the Kelvin, which is designed by K. The lowest temperature on the Kelvin scale is absolute zero or zero K. Then it follows that only one non-zero reference point needs to be assigned to establish the slope of this linear scale using non-conventional refrigeration techniques. Scientists have approached absolute zero Kevin. The thermodynamic temperature scale in the English system is the Rankine scale, named after Wiener Rankine. The temperature unit on this scale is the Rankine, which is designed by R. A temperature scale that turns out to be nearly identical to the Kelvin scale is the ideal gain temperature scale. The temperatures on this scale are measured using a constant volume gain thermometer, which is basically a rigid vessel filled with a gas, usually hydrogen or helium at low pressure. This temperature is based 
on the principle that at no pressures, the temperature of the gas is proportional to its pressure and constant volume. That is, the temperature of a gas of fixed volume varies linearly with pressure and sufficiently low pressures. An ideal gas thermometer scale can be developed by measuring the pressures of the gas in the vessel at two reproducible points and assigning suitable values to temperatures at those two points. It should be noted that the absolute gas temperature scale is not a thermodynamic temperature scale, since it cannot be used at very low temperatures and at very high temperatures. However, absolute gas temperature is identical to the thermodynamic temperature in the temperature range in which the gas thermometer can be used. Thus, we can view the thermodynamic temperature scale at this point as an absolute gas temperature scale that utilizes an ideal or imaginary gas that always acts as a low pressure gas regardless of the temperature. If such a gas thermometer existed, it would read zero Kelvin and absolute zero pressure, which corresponds to minus 273.15 degree centigrade on the Celsius scale. The relationships among different temperature scales are the temperature differences among different temperature scales are this is the comparison of temperature scales and this is the comparison of magnitudes of various temperature scales. The reference temperature in original Kelvin scale was the ice point 273.15 K, which is the temperature at which water freezes. The reference point was changed to a much more precisely reproducible point, the triple point of water, which is assigned the value of 273.16 K. Okay, that's all for this task. Thank you very much and see you next time. Thank you.